president. Oh, no, the president. Oh, no. She's been poisoned. The antidote. We should give her the antidote. But, 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 but which one? The wrong concentration of antidote could kill her. Oh, no. We're going to kill the president. Pull yourself together. Oh, no. Oh, no. What to do? Oh, I've got an idea. We need you. It's urgent. You must act fast. Don't worry, Chief. I got it. Detective Gadget, you must save the president. Don't worry. I will save the president. You must use my biosensor. I just need a little sample. Wow! How does it work? I'll explain. First, the RNA polymerase transcribes DNA into RNA, which then folds. The RNA is a special RNA optimer called spinach. Spinach can bind to the fluorophore DFHBI. When DFHBI is bound, a high level fluorescence is observed. Spinach can be fused with another aptamer, a detection aptamer. Now, spinach is unable to bind DFHBI, but when the target molecule binds to the detection aptamer, the DFHBI is again able to bind to spinach and fluoresce. The region that controls the stability of spinach and also the concentration dependency is the linker region between the two aptamers. Via mutations, two different RNA constructs were made direct to a different concentration of the target molecule. T2 has an unstable linker region that depends more on the target molecule enabling low concentration to be detected. T1 has a stable linker region enabling detection at higher concentrations. The two separate constructs will have different ranges of detection shown here. Combining the two constructs broadens the dynamic range of the biosensor and enables detection of the entire range. The detector gadget consists of these three constructs, T1, T2 and Mango. The level of transcription varies between different cells, so there's a need for an internal control to normalize the different fluorescent signals. This is why we use another aptamer called Mango. The Mango aptamer binds to a different fluorophore that fluoresce at a different wavelength than DFHBI. Its fluorescence is also independent of the concentration of the target molecule. Combining these aptamers into one construct gives us a biosensor with a broadened dynamic range for detection of the target molecule and an internal control for normalizing the level of transcription. With this, we will measure the level of antidote needed to save the president. Ah, a low level of fluorescence. That indicates that a small amount of antidote is all we need. Oh, thank you, Detector Gadget. You've saved my life. Don't worry, President. Detector Gadget saves today. Go, go, Gadget Cupta! <laughs>